address and reject the mischaracterization, accusations from many in this body that the cartoon from my office is dangerous or threatening. It was not, and I reject the false narrative categorically. I do not espouse violence towards anyone. I never have. It was not my purpose to make anyone upset. I voluntarily took the cartoon down, not because it was itself a threat, but because some thought it was. Out of compassion for those who generally felt offense, I self-censored. Last week, my staff posted a video depicting a policy battle regarding amnesty for tens of millions of illegal aliens. This is an enemy that speaks to young voters who are too often overlooked. Even Twitter, the left's mouthpiece, did not remove the cartoon, noting it was in the public's interest for it to remain. The cartoon directly contributes to the understanding and the discussion of the real-life battle resulting from this administration's open border policies. This body is considering passage of Mr. Biden's reckless socialist Marxist $4.9 trillion spending bill that provides $100 billion for amnesty to tens of millions of illegal aliens already in this country. This is what the left doesn't want the American people to know. Our country is suffering from the plague of illegal immigration. I don't stop pointing this out, nor will I. Millions of illegal aliens, drugs, and human traffickers are being led in and moved around our country in the dead of night, all condoned by this administration. For this cartoon, some in Congress suggest I should be punished. I have said decisively, there is no threat in the cartoon other than the threat to immig the immigration poses to our country. And no threat was intended by my staff or me. The American people deserve to have their voices heard in Congress. No matter how much the left tries to quiet me, I will continue to speak out against amnesty for illegal aliens, defend the rule of law, and advance the American first agenda. Just if I must join Alex... Gentlemen's recognized 30 seconds. If I must join Alexander Hamilton, the first person attempted to be censored by this House, so be it. It is done. Madam Speaker, I yield back. Gentleman from Florida.